Hello, my name's Laurie Osborne, uh, also known as Appleblim, um, producing in the kind of dubstep-ish area. Um, also play a lot of house and techno and electro and stuff like that. First involved in a label called Skull Disco uh, with a friend of mine called Shackleton, uh, who I met through just mutual friends when I worked in a record shop in London. I think an example of, of, of how just getting in touch with people and going to clubs and talking to people um, can maybe help you make the connections to get your first foot in the door. We used to go down to a club called Forward down in uh, Shoreditch, uh, which was uh, a club called Plastic People, and the night was called Forward, which is where dubstep started basically, so well entirely. So um, we were we were just regulars down there as, as punters and um, just from kind of going to the club every every time it was on and chatting to the DJs and the and the organizers, um, I actually ended up getting asked to, to work for, for the label that was associated with the club, a label called Temper, which is um, what uh, artists like Benga and Scream are assigned to. Just kind of through emailing the, the sort of generic email address for, for Forward and, and Ammunition, which was their promotions company, um, just emailing them, suggesting things. Never used to get a reply, and then one day they kind of replied and sort of said, oh, would you like to come and help us out? So that was really how my, my career in that world started. So I started helping them with the label, promoting stuff to like radio and journalists, um, working in the office, kind of heard the music that I was playing and that's how they asked me to do my first kind of warm-up set down there, so that's really where my DJ career for them started. Um, and then from there, um, it, was, it was a case of trying to do our own label because um, there weren't many dubstep labels at all then, you know, there was a handful. And we loved the music so much, we were so inspired by it, we were just like, my mate Shepperton had some money put aside and he'd been making some tunes and I'd been making the odd tune as well and he was like, Look, let's, just, let's just do it. The thing that really stood us out against the rest of people that were doing it at the time was um, strong design. In these days of, of, of digital promotion and, and obviously that's a, a very important thing and a very good thing, um, I think there's something to be said for the kind of the physical product as well and that's how we actually first got talked about was because of our sleeves and, our, and the way our products looked because we had a really amazing artist um, doing designs for us. And so even before people were really talking about the music, people were like, wow, have you seen these Skull Disco records? People are passionate about their music. Um, to start a label perhaps with something a little bit different, and, and especially these days, not even just vinyl, I think, you know, to do something interesting with the design in, in other areas, whether it's, you know, T-shirts or kind of limited edition kind of box sets or just something to kind of like give people something special. Anybody can go online now and download a hundred thousand tunes for free, um, but you know, you obviously you can't download, you know, a nice physical limited edition product. So I think maybe that's that's um, a tip for people starting their own thing. It just kind of shows that you've, you've invested some time and some money and some effort into your, your, your music, you know? So perhaps that's a, a good thing to suggest. Yeah.